guys, it's me, Maya. Sorry. Hi. Um, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own lip balms like this. This one's a moisturizer. It doesn't really give much of a color. It gives a bit. This is a lip stain. And then right here, in the middle, right here, is just like another one that I made. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how to make your own lip balm, which is really cool. So what you're going to need is a plate. Um, sorry if you see a little bit of Vaseline there. You don't need like a plate, and then you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna need a plate, and then you're going to need, oh, this is an option, you can use a bit of like, powder of, for crystal light, just to give a little bit more color, but you don't have to, it's optional. Then, you're going to need some eyeshadow to give your lipstick a uh, color. Then you're going to need four drops of honey, I'm putting my four drops of honey in a cap. Um, then you're going to need some, um, lip gloss. I'm using this one, Sweet ca Candy Sweet, Sweet Candy. A toothpick. Um, something to mix your pigments with and to scrape them out. And Vaseline. Okay? So what you're going to do first is get your plate and your Vaseline and just scrape some of the Vaseline out. Scrape as much as you want. Since oh, I'm putting all my... Oh, you're also going to need a container to store it in. I forgot. But, anyways, um, I'm going to actually store my lipstick in the Vaseline, little Vaseline container. And you can find this Vaseline at any drugstore, your local groceries, Walmart, or a gas station. Okay? And I still have a bit of, um, of the leftover access in that container. And since I have that, I'm just going to take my little toothpick to scrape off the excess off of my plastic knife. Okay. And I actually hate when that happens, but it's part of life. Okay. So, this might, this process uh, might may take a couple of tries or a while, so yeah. So I'm sorry for this long cut process, but I'm trying my best to scrape out this access. Okay, so I'm just gonna clean my out my jar, but since I have most of my product out, I'm just gonna leave it from there. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my toothpick and scrape off most of the access. Okay. Okay. There. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to get your four drops of honey <coughs> and pour it on top of the Vaseline. Okay. And using four drops of honey, um, you have to use the exact measurement, but I don't know what's going to happen if you don't because I've never tried it. But yeah, I just put my four drops of honey in a cap and I'm just pouring it on top of my Vaseline. Okay. And I'm sorry for that noise in the background. So it should look like that. And my Vaseline actually fell on the side there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it fell on the side. Okay. So, but I still have a bit of um of the honey left in the cap, so I'm just going to take something to scrape it out and to put it in. And Vaseline, I mean, um, honey, in like a container, like in a cap, it's kind of hard to get out because honey is sticky. And the reason why we need honey is just so that it can give a bit of flavor and so that the stuff won't, um, you know, come off. Okay, so now that we did that, Next, what you're going to do is you're just going to get, oops, get your eyeshadow, and I want this, like, hot pink, and I don't really have anything to scrape it with, but I'm just going to take this, that I took out the Vaseline, and I'm just going to scrape some of this pigment onto, on top of my Vaseline. And to find that eyeshadow, you can find them at any drugstore, local groceries. Not local grocery stores, but at like um, Walgreens or 
Walmart or something like that. Okay, yeah, you just put most of the color that you want on there. I don't have like a lot of this, so that's why I'm trying my best to get off some of this pigment. And as you can see, I have that much left of my poor baby. So that's why I have this back up right here. So I'm just going, yeah, I don't even have any more pink, so I just shouldn't even use it. Then, uh, um, <coughs> if you, this is optional, remember the, back in the beginning, the, the powder that you can put in. I'm just going to add some of that. And then you're just going to take, well, then you, it should look something like that, okay? I don't know if you can see it. Then you're just going to mix the Vaseline, the eyeshadow, the powder, and your honey together. Okay? And this is actually coming out pretty well. This is actually like a lip jelly. This is your lip jelly. Okay, and this is really fun, easy to make, and for people who just love stirring, you know? So, yeah. Okay, and I gotta add, like, a bit more of eyeshadow, because I don't have a lot of here. I need more eyeshadow. Because the color is, like, really light. But that's okay that I use all my pigment. So now, um, I can put my pigment on here. So it's actually really good. Okay? So, yeah. I'm just going to put that back on. Then, you're just going to keep stirring. And you're going to keep stirring. When you know that it's ready, um, is when you see no more eyeshadow. Or any more clumps, but I would just keep mixing just to make sure. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna take the product back. Then, um, your last ingredient is your lip gloss. You're just going to put about, like, I don't know how much you want to put just to get it more shine, but I'm just gonna put about a tablespoon, maybe even less of that, like maybe a drop two drops. Oops, oh my god. All of that just necessarily came out with the container thing. Did you guys just see that? That is so horrible. Oh my god. Okay. Um, so something just bad just happened. Most of my thing fell out my lipstick jar. But I'm just gonna, like, step aside some of this gloss onto the plate. I'm so sorry you had to see that. <laughs> sorry. So, but anyways, once you have that, you're just gonna um, actually just mix them. And that's what I'm gonna do right now after I just wipe my hands. Okay? So then you just take your lip gloss and with your lipstick that you made and mix it. And also using this lip gloss will give it much smell, and it will darken or lighten the color. Your choice. Okay? So you just keep mixing. Okay? I'm just going to add a bit more gloss to it. Okay? Now it's time to, um, take your pigment to your container. So you're going to get a container. Okay. Container. And I'm just going to actually, since I use all my eyeshadow, I'm just going to actually make, wipe off, wipe the container palette. Okay. And you're going to get your, whatever you're using, to scrape it into there. Just get it all in like one whole ball like this. Okay, like this, like so. Then you're just gonna scrape it. It'll be better if you're. Oops, excuse me, sorry. I'm using like a something to you know do it, like a spoon. Then you're gonna 
we'll take your container and dump the thing in like that. And that is a lot, actually, I have to admit. But I'm just going to smooth it out like this. Okay. And then I'm just going to take some and put it out and smoothen it Oops. and just like flatten it so that way I can have the amount that I want and if I have extra I can just put it in the Vaseline palette or just save it okay so I'm just gonna take my pigment and put it on like into the palette one by one by flattening it Okay. Sorry guys, I have like a little cold, but yeah. Then after I do that, it should look something like that. And then with the rest of the pigment, I'm just gonna scrape and add more lipstick to it, more lip gloss, and just put it in a separate container, you know? So adding more of the gloss actually goes in a lighter pink. Okay, I'm just going to keep scraping most of my pigment, okay, and put it on here, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep taking my primer and put it on here, and smoothing it out, that's all. And then I'm going to go over with the napkin and flatten it, sorry, and then just scrape it. Okay, so that's that, and then I'm just going to put my container over it, but it's like a lot, so yeah, I can't do that. So this is the, f the one that we just made, and which is a lot, this one's the, the second one that I made, and this one's the last one. Okay, so now here's like a swap of the um things. So this one's the lip stain. I'm gonna take a swap for you. That's the lip stain. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm gonna get like a lot. That's a swap of the lip stain. Okay. Then a swap of the moisturizer. You probably can't see the moisturizer, but this is swap. Okay. Then here's a swap of the jelly. Okay, swap of the jelly, that's in a little bit, but yeah. And then this is a swap of the one that we just made. Okay. Tell me which one you like best, or which one turned out to look best for you. Okay. And yeah, so, see you next time, and bye!